that focus. Oh, come on. Okay, good. So just really quickly, it's now two weeks after I filmed that last portion of the video. So today's video is me unboxing my new bike. Oh, so it's just the bike now to get out. Okay, right, I'm in my cycling shorts. I'm gonna go for a ride. I haven't ridden the bike. I still haven't ridden it. I've got two weeks into our ride, 54 miles, I think it is, on the London to Brighton bike ride. I need to get out and just do something. So, there's been a million things that have stopped me from going out, from finding a solution to filming it, to having um, you know, a bag to put my phone in, to having something to put water bottles on. Anyway, I'm gonna attach the things that I need to attach now. I'm just gonna crack through it and then I'm gonna go out. And whether I cycle for 10 minutes or two hours, I don't know yet, I'm just gonna go out for a bike ride. But before I do, there's a couple of things I need to do. The first thing I need to do is I bought some um, cycling shoes. I bought some Shimano RC1s, whatever they are. I got them on eBay, um, brand new never been used before in my size and I got them for a fraction of what they cost online. Outdoor cycling shoes. I couldn't wear my indoor ones that I used for Zwift, which is what I was gonna do until I realized they were indoor only and they had nothing about them that if I needed to use them for anything other than just turning pedals, then they would have been no good. So I don't really know what I'm talking about, but these are outdoors, so I've got these. However, in my infinite wisdom and my well thought out plan, I didn't actually get any cleats for them. So what I've had to do, well, what I'm gonna have to do is take the cleats off my daughter's Zwift shoes, which she's very proud of because they're exactly the same as my Shimano Zwift indoor shoes. And I'm gonna put them on here. I have bought some new ones on Amazon, which don't get delivered until the day after tomorrow. And I wanna go out for a ride. So I'm gonna take these off, put them on here, not tell her, hoping that she doesn't watch this video, and then I've bought exactly the same ones to go back on and she won't know any different. Hers will be brand new without a mark and mine will be scuffed to hell because I'm sure I'm not gonna go out for a bike ride without falling off. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna transfer them across. Oh man. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm not really sure where it's supposed to be positioned. I'm gonna guess. Okay, good. So. SPD SL cleats on my Shimano RC1 outdoor cycling shoes, ready for my two SPD SL Shimano pedals. There you go, I'm gonna put these on now. I'm gonna attach them. Right, so I've done the pedals, pedals are on. Um, shoes have Clippy bits in them. I'm just gonna attach these now. Water bottles. Should have some, I should have a knife. Let me get a knife. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I've got my, oh man, hip click. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's bodes well, isn't it? I've got my dancing shoes on. I've got a flashing light on my bike. I've got the pedals on. I've got two water bottles. I've got, a bag full of tools. I don't know what any of them do. Ah, oh, the other thing I forgot. Right, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. I'm gonna put my GoPro chest mount. I've got a chest mount for my GoPro. I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna go for a bike ride. This is getting out of hand now. The amount of time I've taken to prep, plan and organize this, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for a bike ride. But I am literally just leaving my house for an attempt to get my feet in for the first time. And I'm recording it. I don't even know why I'm, and, ah, oh, feet are in, feet are in. Oh, now the thing is, how easily are they gonna come out? Oh, they come out quite easy. Oh, shit, I'm about to hit a road. All right, I've got to work the gears out. I've got to work out the pedals. I'm just gonna go around the block before I go out on the main road. Okay, all right, harder gear, harder gear, am I risking it? I've made an easier gear. I don't even know how to, how do I change? It doesn't make any sense. Cause I pressed that a minute ago and it made them harder. I can't work the gears out. Come on, Brian. Come on. Oh, 
Where's erg mode when you need it? Tuck my t-shirt in because any cars coming up behind me are just going to get a full moon at the moment because I'm not wearing bib shorts. Right, foot, come on, clip in. Right, there we go. Right, I'm clipped in. Okay. Right, I'm scared to change gear. I've got a hard gear going uphill. Right, I'm going to go out on the roads. Okay, what's the worst that can happen? We're about to go out on the main road now. Right, I'm on the main road. First time on the main road for God knows, well, for about five years, four years, five years, since I first got a bike to lose weight. Yeet, Jesus. Okay. Okay, main road number one. Done, I am so tempted to go on the pavement. Okay, crossing, done. Change gear, wrong gear, going uphill. I can't get the gears to change. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I need to watch a video on how to ride a bike. Ah, uh, camera number two. So, camera number two, there's no, there's no car behind me. It's supposed to be mounted here on my chest. So you get a view, if I press it now, you get a view of my handlebars. Like this, as I climb, it's really steep. It's not steep. Country road. So, this is where I'm going. So yeah, this is gonna get mounted here. So as you guys get a view of the direction I'm going in. But I've come this way, because there's a cool hill that I run up and down. And I want to see if it's as much fun on a bike as it is running. This bike is fast. Oh my goodness. This is a fun road to cycle up. This is a lot of fun. Not one handed though. Then he went down a ditch. Wrong gear. Come on. Change. Change down. This is the turning point. Foot out, foot out. Then he forgot. This is the hill here. We're gonna have a go on. Oh man. Pedals upside down. Why well, don't I mean I I'm probably stating something really obvious here. Click, that was refreshing click. I'm probably stating something really obvious here, but why don't they make these pedals so they're balanced? That they spin the right way up. Just check this one behind me. Okay, good. This is where I die, guys. This is a steep old hill. Super tuck. Holy f Cool, you can really feel that drag slowing me down. Wow, get in. Okay, back up the other side. Ay, 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 I didn't change gear. I don't even know how to. I've just made it harder. Change gear, I'm gonna, I can't get my cleats out. Oh, wrong gear. I mean, like gear 11 at the moment. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Oh. Guys, 
I'm just gonna take a minute because uh, my heart rate, rip my heart rate. Guys, I just nearly fully decked it into, into these nettles. I forgot to take my feet out. Oh my God. I'm gonna stay to Zwift. Zwift is so much easier. <sighs> that scared me then. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna go back down the hill. Oh, and I've done it again. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Okay, I did it with the other foot that time. <sighs> I know it sounds really stupid, right? But doing, getting the cleats out so many times on Zwift, on and off the bike, I think it's just saved me twice then of being able to twist my heel and not trying to put my foot down. I actually just, both occasions, just twisted my heel off. Oh, right, come on. I need to get a bit of speed up before I try and put a pedal, a, a, a uh, foot in come on all right there we go all right we're gonna go back down the hill here we go super tuck yeah boy and wrong gear how do i increase the gears come on come on come on give me a gear nope Tuck my gears again Oh, wrong gears. I keep doing the opposite of what I should be doing. It's fun though. The hill's fun. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. I've just realized I've gone out without my phone because I didn't have anywhere to put it. I put it down and I picked it up. Right, I'm gonna spin this around and record it going down the hill. So I'll get my foot in. And click. All right, GoPro enabled. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Super tuck. Oh my God, this is so much fun. I am about as aerodynamic as a cricket bat, sideways. Got to pedal. Okay. And changing gear successfully. Bloody hell. Okay. Right. Back at the top. One more go. High gear or low gear, whatever the correct terminology is. And here we go. Right, super tuck. Oh my God, that was fun. Okay, that was good fun actually. I'm gonna have one more go. Click. Oh, I'm on the bush. All right, one more go, then I'm gonna cycle home. Here we go. All right, gears up. Super tuck. You can really feel that drag. You can feel how much of a difference aerodynamics makes in the real world. But like, when, I, when I use Zwift, I think, ah, you know, like 30% difference to being in the draft, to being out of the draft, and you think to yourself, that's not real. But I can really feel, I mean, this is the fastest I've ever gone on a bike. <laughs> There's no way I was doing this. Um, what, four or five years ago when I was trying to, when I first bought a bike and tried to lose weight. I did one 10 mile bike ride on it, hated every second, hurt me, regretted buying it. Other than that, the previous time I rode a bike, I had a little stint where when I worked in London, I had the brainwave to cycle to work, couldn't even get three miles from home. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeehaw! Gear up.
and we're back at the top. Right. I'm going to cycle home now. My first attempt to lose weight rather than walking or running. I bought a bike, failed miserably, hated every second, sold it. Other than that, last time I rode a bike was when I was about 18 in 1998. Up until then, I rode everywhere as a teenager, I loved it. Used to go fishing with my friends along the Thames. I used to live in Bermondsey near Tower Bridge and I'd get on my on my mountain bike, uh, which was like a it was like a hybrid really, and before hybrids, you know, even existed. And I don't mean electric and leg power, I mean like a it was like a weird mongrel mountain bike stroke road bike thing that someone had cobbled together and I was given. So yeah, I used to use that to go fishing with my friends, tie the fishing rods to the bar and then cycle up the Thames, find a decent spot and then while away the summer days. I used to cycle everywhere, I loved it. But I did it for necessity, but I wouldn't have done it if I hated it. So there must have been something there. Anyway, my point is, that's why I'm giving this a shot again. I can't have my only experience of cycling being that attempt five years ago. I'm taking this corner, this bike is so fast. I mean, I hope it does it justice on camera. I really do, because this is like shit off a shovel. It's a nice evening for it as well. So the time now is quarter past six. I'm a massive, ma oh, flipping egg, pothole. I'm a massive fan of Zwift, huge, huge advocate, and I enjoy it, but I have no cycling experience. So when I'm out on the bike like this, you can really feel the difference drag makes. I haven't crossed any power-up banners though, and obviously I'm not used to braking or steering, <laughs> or steering a lot. I'm certainly not used to having to pull my foot out of the pedals when I come to a stop. I'm not home yet, but as my first venture, small hill here, I'm gonna power up it, use my, use my feather to get to the top. Okay, there's no one behind me. Yeah, so I'm not home yet, so I haven't actually finished this ride, but so far as my first proper venture out onto the roads, it's brilliant. Still a bit nerve wracking being on those roads with cars. You're in the hands of other people and just, you know, some people no problem, some people don't care. And then some people just really, really can be funny. I just know that from being a, uh, a driver, let alone a cyclist, someone having a bad day, deciding to, you know, not give me a wide berth. I'm already nervy. I'm hardly the most competent cyclist. It's more likely I'll make a mistake than they will and then I end up under their wheels. I'm pleased with the roads around my house that I bought a gravel bike and not a road bike. These slightly wider tyres make all the difference. <sighs> Flipping heck. <sighs> Nearly never got my foot out then. Hey, hey, hey. That scared me again. I'm getting... I'm only doing it by the skin of my teeth, that's the problem. Literally. I'm in the wrong gear as well. That doesn't help. I'm only getting my feet up by the skin of my teeth at the moment. It's right when I'm coming up to a junction, but like that, where the car never let me go. Should have stopped, I don't know why I went. Should have just assumed. I thought they were slowing down, but they weren't, and it was a parked car. Anyway, I'm, I could have squeezed through, but I don't fancy that. Right, go, go, go. Right, take it easy. Just get home in one piece. Sit rep on my first ride on my new bike. Uh, things that have gone well. I'm still alive. I've managed to climb some hills. I had some fun going down a hill several times, back up the other side, so that was fun. Got to practice my hill climbing. What were the cons? I need to stop here, the traffic light. What were the cons? Um, so, cons, big cons. Not cons, but things to overcome. 
cleats. Need to get used to that. So it's okay now, I knew I was stopping, so I had plenty of time to pull my foot out. And I use my left foot and lean to the left. But when I go off to the right, I sometimes overbalance. So yeah, I need to work on that. That's me though. This is the tightest clothing I've ever worn out in public. It's all right wearing it on Zwift, but <clears throat> yeah. For a big bloke, skin tight clothing is not normally my go-to. Thought that guy was gonna go then. Oh man, there was a car about to pull out. Literally saw him revving his engine to go and he stopped at the last second, covering the brakes. Problem is, <clears throat> if I have to sh brake sharply like that, am I gonna get both my feet out? That's what worries me. I like to think that when I drive, I drive covering, I drive defensively covering people around me, assuming that people are gonna do silly things. Assuming there's gonna be a cyclist, assuming there's gonna be a motor, motorbike coming out from a, a turning I can't see. That's how I like to drive. I like to assume I drive like that. I hope so anyway. So when I see people contemplating just driving out in front of me, and then knowing, oh, he'll stop, he's on the bike. Yeah, mate, honestly, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. My feet are attached to the bike. So if I stop, I'm not. Like someone's just done it again. I wish I could have the camera facing this way. Mental. It's like you're invisible. Careful, mate. Guy just walked out in front of me. Literally just walked out in front of me. Oh man, I wish I had the camera facing this way. Cars just pulled out in front of me. <laughs> oh my God, I've turned into one of those cyclists. I'm gonna go on Twitter and start posting my videos of people stepping out in front of me. And me shouting, watch it mate, careful mate. I'm gonna do a lot more damage to you than you are to me. That's probably not true. Pippa. Flipping cats outside, right, done. Oh, foot out, and foot out. Hey, 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 get off the bike. That is the end of today's video. Hugely successful. I've learned several things. I'm officially a middle-aged man in Lycra. I am not very good with cleats, which I need to learn and get better at. Um, I massively value the recording of this project more so than I do my own safety. I need to put water in these. They're not just for show. I'm actually quite thirsty. Hill climbing, that's my new favorite thing. I'm actually considering going back and doing that again tomorrow. That's how much fun that was. Not so much fun were uh, cars pulling out because they think I'm superfluous to damage. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to make another one soon.